Hey guys, this is Scott Leroy, Scott Leroy Marketing, coming in for another weekly tip. And today's tip is actually about your new listing presentations that you have available on command. All right, so obviously you guys have the listing presentations from eEdge. There's some over, I believe, as well on, uh, geez, the marketing section on KDB Connect 2. All right, but now you actually have a brand new one over on command that you can utilize immediately. All right, so to access these listing presentations, all right, all we'll need to do is go to our design section. All right, so we're going to click on little, uh, it kind of looks like a little canvas, basically, where you're drawing on there. All right, so we're going to click on that icon to access our designs real quick. All right, now once we click on that, you might not see everything that we currently have on here. All right, so these are all different ones that we've previously looked at. All right, but in this case, what you can actually do is you can click the plus sign at the bottom right. All right, so in this case, once we click on the plus sign down here, all right, then we can actually see what type of template are we going to create. Are we going to create an email, social, or print on here? And they just recently changed it, so if you want to import photos and text from a listing, you can actually click on that option too. Otherwise, we can just start from scratch. All right, so for the listing presentations, obviously we're going to click on print. And then once we click on that, this will make it a, a little darker blue, basically. All right, so now we can click on create template to access this immediately. All right, and if it does ask you to sign back in, just go and put inside your login and password on here, and you'll be all good to go. There we go. All right, so once we pull that up, this is going to be our back end of the WeBrand account for all the different designs that you currently have access to. Now, the main one that we're going to focus on today, obviously, is the listing presentation. All right, so they're all alphabetized on here. Nice little new order that they have set up on here. Very easy, clean to view. All right, but once you click on listing presentation, then we're going to see both of them that are available for you to utilize. All right, whether you want to use the classic version or the modern version on here. And they both have 27 pages, as you can see right up here at the top left. All right, so I'm just going to click on this option to use the modern one just to get an idea as to what it looks like. All right, and the good part about this is everything that you're going to add in, all right, everything you're going to update is really the exact same as how you would update anything on the social side of WeBrand, if you're creating like a just listed or just sold piece, all right, or if you're going through and maybe you're actually updating a geez, you know, your email signature, business cards, anything like that, the exact idea on here. All right, so when taking a look at this, it's automatically going to come up with our first page. You can view all the additional pages down here too. All right, then you can literally just click on them so you can pull up those next pages, much like you do on any type of editor. All right, so if you want to go through and edit any of this information or edit any of the little text on here too or images, you can. All right, so completely up to you. So for instance, on page three, right on here, it's actually going to show, and I'm going to zoom out real quick. There we go. All right, so it's actually going to show right on here. All right, so here's a custom consultation. So I'm going to move this over real quick. So I just dragged that out to make it look a little bit better. All right, for Maria and Chris Roberts, I'm going to double click on this. And maybe I'm going to say for Scott and I'll put Casey Leroy. All right, so you can add inside anything you want to on here. All right, and then even further down, we can get rid of the pages so we can actually view the bottom on here. All right, so that way, if you want to go through and add inside your name, obviously your headshot on here too, you can update your DBA logo. All right, so remember, you can always access this over on the left-hand side to drag these items over. All right, so if I wanted to, I could drag that on. I can change this out too. All right, whatever you prefer at the end of the day. So even if I just want to update something as simple as my name, and I want to update my last name too, all right, then I'm definitely more than welcome to. And I can even drag that close over here too in case I just want to change this out. Oop, wrong thing. <laughs> there you go. All right, so always make sure you're dragging the proper thing first. There we go. My mouse is being finicky today. Of course, the one day I want to show it on here. All right, I can go through and fix that up in a second. All right, close enough right now. Not great, but close enough. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to X out of that. I'm going to come over here. And at the end, I'm just going to add inside my name. Make it simple that way. Awesome. So I can drag that out and make it a little bit easier. All right, so if your mouse messes up, <laughs> lo and behold, you can just delete that and start there. All right, but you can actually go through and tweak any of this information on here. All right, completely up to you. And remember, of course, on the left-hand side, you have your images, you have your text you can add in, you have your icons as well. Um, geez, you also happen to have your logos on here too. You also happen to have your KBLS information. All right, so all this available for you. All right, and then if we click on Add to Library, you can always add inside your information. 
Or if you have your brand kit set up, you can add that in right away too. All right, but once again, you can click on the pages option down here to access everything immediately. You can also zoom in or zoom out down here at the bottom right too. All right, and then once again, you can go through all these different pages to view everything. All right, there's even a section at the very end of your portfolio of experience on here too. All right, so I just wanna give you a heads up. This is how simple it is to actually go through and tweak everything on here. All right, now once you are completed with everything, and of course you can always click on show all pages on here too just to view everything right away. All right, but once you are completed with everything, remember always click that save button up here. And of course you can change what it's called. So maybe I wanna call this listing presentation one. All right, so I'll click that save button up here to save everything. Now it says saved with the exclamation point, so we're golden. All right, then of course you can always download this right away. All right, so if we want to download it as a JPEG, a PNG, or in this case, more than likely, a PDF. All right, so that way we can actually specify on here, what do we want to download? All right, so do we want to download uh, G certain pages on here too? Do we want to make it high quality resolution? All right, so we can actually go through and tweak that right away. All right, so all this is completely customizable. And remember, once you save that, then you'll be able to access it immediately. So if you notice back over on my designs now, right up here, October 8th, all right, we've got our listing presentation one set up on here so we can access that again immediately. All right, so that's the best part about this. You can always go to the back end to access this whenever it's completed under your design section. All right, and obviously this is a culmination of all the different segments on here, but if I click on print, it'll automatically pop up for me too. So there you go. All right, so that is your quick overview of the listing presentation template and how you can utilize it right away. All right, so that is your command tip for the day.